my my proper diction and projection. And By what name would you like to be called, Quest? Um, By which name would you like to? Be I ask called? myself that a lot. Okay, I can assign you a random name if you'd like, uh, such as, let's see, Zanzibar. Would you like to be called Zanzibar? You already, you already yeah, did of a sort. I, I called myself, myself Goat, and you addressed me as the greatest of all time. Oh, I see. <laughs> well, so I, so I suppose I suppose that uh, that answers. One of my, one of my questions of what I'm looking for here, you know, what am I the greatest of all time at? Okay, well, let me first ask you this: as felines refers to cats and canines refers to dogs, what refers to goats? Hmm. I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I'm not actually very knowledgeable about I don't know goats in particular. Hmm, I, gotta see I think you just say a TI problem or something. What is the equivalent yeah. of feline for goats? Hmm. Kind of grazing animal, aren't they? So it's like saying octopus is like it's oh no no dogs would be a type of canine or something like that. Or what kind of animal? Let's see. There. What is the species? Here's a good. What's the species classification for goats? Um, Type that in, you'll probably get your answer. Okay, well, let's see here. Uh, kingdom Animalia, Phylum Chordata, Class Mammalia, Order Artiodactylia, Family Bovidia, Subfamily Cap uh -huh. Caprine. I think it's there. Um, the Capri. So it's like it branched off from the bovine family. That's quite interesting. So basically, they're very they're very much related to that of cows. Capra is a genus of mammals. The goats comprised composed of up to nine species, including the wild goat, the markhor, and several species known as ibex. Okay. I really want to get into my animal biology because I want to be able to understand the different classifications. Well, I want to, I want to know, I want like a master list of all the words like canine and feline. You can type in bovine as well as carnit. Animal adjectives. This is what I wanted. This thing right here. What are these ein words? Perhaps you've come across words like aquiline her sign, visage, or pierine grace in something you've read, or maybe you've seen adine disease or ovine embryology. Here's a list of many animal-related ein or ian words that I can find. Okay, so what are these words? Words like feline, leonine, and porcine are adjectives used to describe animal-like characteristics. They've made plenty of appearances in literature, not to mention quite a few appearances in word puzzles. Um, the list of animal adjectives. Oh, this is nice. Look at that. A carine refers to mites or ticks. Let me share my screen so you guys can see this too. This is interesting. Um, acipitrine, bird. Acipenserine, sturgeon. Adine, mosquito, aluidine, bird, alcelophine, antelope. Oh, there's a lot of them. Yeah. No, it sounds like a, enough for a whole, divi whole division of uh, all licensing all the time to assign animal handling <laughs> licenses. Right, yeah. 
It makes it difficult to understand being laid out alphabetically. Maybe you want to put it on a massive like graph or something, because usually they'll have the single point. But I'm pretty sure most of it is like debated amongst scientists. Oh, but look, this this one's good use. This is a good usage tip here. Her sign refers to goat-like smell, probably, and caprine, caprine refers to goat-like in general. What do you mean? And what? Don't, Don't be, be her sign. Be caprine. caprine. Right. It's okay if you're a little caprine, but I can't take the her sign fragrance. That'd be a good campaign slogan. <laughs> yeah. Caprinity without the hercinity. <laughs> ah, I like it. The little head of crocodilian. Crocodilian. Cro croco crocodiline. Crocodilian? Yeah, I mis misread it. Just glanced the word. You know, she's got a great personality, but she's... A little diddle fine in the face. A little, how do you say that word? Diddle fine? But her face is a, has a certain diddle fine quality. She look, that means she looks a little bit like an opossum. <laughs> Let's see. Draconine? Dragon? They've actually got dragon on there? Yeah. Draconine. You know. One thing I like about this woman is her gazelle line, gazelle line body. She's nothing but legs and spirit. Oops. Hirudine, hirundine is like a swallow. You know, you know how Bob always makes nests underneath the bridges. That's awfully hirundine of him. No, I didn't say herudine. No, I'm not talking. I'm not saying it's like a leech. I'm saying it's like a swallow. <laughs> That'd be funny if if you were to call some, refer to somebody's behavior because they like to. Uh, I don't know. Bill. Hey, would you hear and die, my load? <laughs> would I what? No, I would not hear and die. It's not a verb, okay? And that's not none of those are verbs, Mister. Hey. It's still fucking hilarious. History. You should, try next, you should try that next time for some bedroom talk, mate. It'd be fucking hilarious. Uh, you know, this is a good thing to tell your significant other if she's being being fussy or whatever you go. Kimberly, your attitude this morning has been nothing short of history sign. Means she's like a porcupine. Listen, Kim, I'm just saying, let's get our mega pattern eye on and be like, humpback whales. Oh, yeah, baby. What other words do we have here? <laughs> when, are you, the skunk, the skunk. <laughs> when are you going to have good cause to refer to something as osprey-like? Pandionine? Who's going to know that word if you use it? Or, you know what? You remind me. That is so flacrocorusing of you. I guess, you'd, I guess you'd have to know divers. Oh my god, that is so flacrocorusing of you. Stop being so flacrocorusing. What? You're being too much like a cormorant. <laughs> that one says titmouse. Where did it say titmouse? Scroll up. Ah, titmouse. Pendulin. It's if you it's a it's a in colloquial usage. It means Line? a woman with a small breast, you say she's a little pendulin. That means her breasts are no bigger than a titmouse's breasts. You read the word wrong one. Oh, did I? Yeah. Perine. Perine? Titmouse. Oh, Perine. 
Yeah, yeah Perrine. Perrine, Perrine. I see. Perrine, Perrine. Tit. <laughs> Being a tit less. <laughs> okay, let's see. Um, her Philomelian <gasps> voice. Probably people will use that like... Her Philomelian voice carried the audience away on a whisper of magic. Okay, let's see. Hawk moth. This is basically just killing time. <laughs> Sylph like warbler. Grouse. Let's see. Ursine. This is a word you'll hear periodically. Ursine. And this should be bovine, right? I guess it's... Bovine cattle. Mm -hmm. Well, Ursine is bear-like. Ursine's bear-like, but... You wouldn't think that troglod troglodytine would be for a wren. You'd think it would be for a troglodyte. Why is troglodytine the word for wren? Par Paradisine? <laughs> Partridge? Oh, you hear Piscine oh. sometimes. This, this bird. Vulpine is fox. Vulpine's fox. This is one I'm familiar with, too. Some of these I, I am familiar with starting coming into it. But why is anteater Myrmacophagene. Oh my god. That is a horrible word. My Myrmacophagene? That's very Myrmacophagene <laughs> of you. In what capacity? Well, I mean, you eat a lot of ants. <laughs> if somebody eats, like, goes to a fancy restaurant where they serve ants or some shit like that, you go... Oh, did you have a Myra Makofaji dining experience? <laughs> in your in your quest to be ever more con convoluted in your speech. Giant ground sloth. You know what? You have a very megatherine quality about you. What? You remind me of a giant ground sloth. <laughs> Alright, I'm uh I'm gonna go poop and see if I'm gonna see if the camera and I are gonna do something exciting. I don't know. I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for being here. Yeah.